All right, guys, uh, this is DJ Wolf Live. I'm going to start out talking about this. Uh, there is uh, some YouTube videos I've seen. What was it that just ran over? There are some YouTube videos I've seen, and I've talked about it before, um, regarding a uh, over here. A couple of YouTube videos, I, 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 not only just YouTube videos, but in general where black women are trying to keep about their so-called sisterhood with uh, the Me Too movement and white women in general. And to be honest, some of y'all don't realize they're out to destroy your uh, uh, communities in terms of its value. I'm not saying that out of turn. This is facts. I know of uh, a white woman right now. She befriend two of her uh, black women as her, as, her, as her friends that they co work. But to be honest, if you get her outside, that she say something totally different about about this situation. This I know for a fact. And. They ain't really representing y'all like that. You know? I could say that wholeheartedly. Also, many of y'all think that having multiple kids from different guys and you single and you ain't committed, they ain't committed to you and you ain't committed to them, it's a badge of honor. It's not. You know? I've been in situations where you had single women call themselves at the time. This was before I got long before I got married. Who tried to keep me when I was a single man when they had kids. And I'm, to, to be honest, I wasn't even interested. And when I was, they played head games. And I, I, I told people, I tell some of these young guys, they don't don't be bothered with these, these these women with these multiple kids, man. And because what's going to happen? Why they're going to make that your issue? And it shouldn't be at all. You didn't make them kids. I'm not saying the kids shouldn't be take shouldn't be taken care of because they're forced. They should. Somebody should, especially they haven't. But what I'm saying is, I wouldn't get too heavily involved with them women. I wouldn't because, like I said, in my experience in the past as a single man, the women played nothing but games with me, and I ain't had time for it. But now you got a lot of young women out here has at least one kid or two. And I, and I know one guy uh, in particular who dated a few of them, and all they did was give them the blues. And I warned them about it. I said, man, leave them single mothers alone. I don't personally have an issue with them, but I mean, at the time, and, and I don't now, really, because, of course, I'm occupied. But I say that because... It's a lot of game that they do play on guys, on good guys, single, hardworking men. The same guys they wouldn't talk to before they got pregnant. The same guys who they thought were squares or punks or whatever. The same guys who they thought were born. But yet they had ambition and they made something out of their lives. But these are also the same women who date these freaking June bugs who give them nothing but grief. And they don't have a problem with that at all. This I know for a fact. They don't. They really, truly don't. No. Nope, not an issue whatsoever. I can't just cross them up here and they don't stop. They keep it moving and keep on going. Next year, come on. But uh, that's one of the issues that I have, and that's one of the things why I say, I say, guys, y'all, mm -hmm. they just don't. Uh, they have their own agenda, and from generation to generation, a lot of them have been taught that. You know. The media 
plays into that too. You had shows from Geraldo to Ricky Lake, Oprah in some cases, uh, Jerry Springer, Maury, all of them. Right down the line. They carried that stuff. Maury for years, and they still show the episodes now where they catered to baby mamas. Maury's baby mama drama shows have been some of the highest rated uh, daytime shows on the planet. You know? And they and even the reruns were popular. Even I watched them. I watched several of them. Uh, there was one guy. I think I don't I think he might have been married to the woman. But I know they had four kids. And he took a he took a DNA blood test for all with, with all uh, with all four kids, and found out not one of them was his. Not a one, not none, none of them. That was the most heartbreaking episode I think I've ever seen, man. That thing was messed up. Yeah, sure did. Not a single one of those kids was his. Not one, not none, none, none of them. I was like, wow, that's messed up. Bro. That was truly messed up. But of course you're going to have Maury on there. Somebody, and I've heard Maury say it too. Well, you know, them kids ain't yours, but you know, you can still take care of them. And I was like, oh, hell no. I ain't take care of none of them if they ain't mine. Sorry. I ain't deal with that woman. I say, hey, have a nice life, baby. Go find your baby dad. For all four of your kids. I'm not dealing with that. But the problem is, at that point, by her knowing all of that, and knowing that the kids are traumatized once they find that the, 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 he ain't the father, because, but they're so tied in with him that he may not have a choice. You know? This is what some of these women do out here, man. Some of these women just don't care. And you got situations where, where you got women out here now who probably never care, but they always pretend like they do. There are black women that do that, man. All the time, all day long. Saying like, oh yeah, I'm in you, blah, blah, blah. Oh baby, you know, we'll do that. And be faking the funk on you the whole time. Never gave two cents about you. That's how I try for our women are. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. Our women are like that. They've been like that for a long, very, very long time. They don't care. They'll pretend to you like they care. And then the next minute they stab you in your back. They ain't really into you. They want you to give them the love and attention. And then you want, you know, and you would think that they show it back after everything you do for them. And then they won't, they won't show it. No. Our sisters are like that, man. They have their own agenda. And sometimes they could care less if you're involved or not. You know? But my thing of it is, that's why the such thing as MGTOW. I know why there's MGTOW now. It's MGTOW because a lot of guys are tired of trying to break their backs to please black women. And many of them don't appreciate it. And I'm talking about right across the board. They do not appreciate it at all. Not for one minute. They don't appreciate nothing you do for them, regardless of how much they, they try to pretend like they, they really don't. Truth is, they don't appreciate it at all. You know, and it's really sad. You know, because I know of men like that. I know of men like that, and I know of men who got burned behind that. I know of oh, cases where, personally, where women have said that told the guy, oh, I'm going to get back with you. I'm going to get we won't get back. The next minute, burn it. Next minute, pretend like they never never even spoke about it. You know? That's the game women play. Women, I think, sometimes play more games than guys do. Not to say that guys don't do it. There are guys that do it. But the women who fall for are the ones who usually fall for the guys that do it. You know? Thinking they're going to change it. Them the guys they, they you know and, and and my thing of it is why try to get with a guy uh, who ain't right anyway that you think you can change you're wasting time you're clearly wasting time there's no doubt about that you are wasting time big time wasting time 
you know. But they don't have no problem with that. They don't have a problem in the world with that at all. You know, the head games are real. And yet, these same women, if you decide you want to go uh, date a white woman, or Asian woman, or Hispanic woman, all of a sudden, you're wrong. If black women go out there and date a, a white guy, uh, like, uh, who in the case with, um, uh, Miss Mark Markel, who's already having issues with uh, uh, her husband's family. Y'all gonna realize that no matter how much you try to cake for a white daddy, they ain't gonna like you. Because you're messing with their so-called lineage. You know, and her own daddy turned on. Her. You know, that's another whole story. But y'all like that. It's okay for black women to be in a relationship with a white guy, but for a black guy do do the same thing with a white woman or somebody of color outside of our race. All of a sudden, oh, he a coon. All of a sudden, he taking money from the neighbor. All of a sudden, he ain't right for him to do that. All these women, black, available black women. No, they don't, he don't want no available black women. That's the whole point. He don't want that drama. He don't want that bullshit. He don't want to get played. You know the number of uh, uh, successful black men have, have been used and abused by women of color? There's quite a few of them. You know a number of regular hardworking, successful black men who've been used and abused by women of color. They are not so famous. There are stories every day about it. Every day. You know? And I know this personally. Every day. Black women today are so uh, into their own agenda and are so independent the uh, mind have an independent mindset that they're not even about the relationship anymore. They're about what can you do for me today? That's like Jan Jackson record. What have you done for me lately? What we do as black men ain't enough for black women anymore. It's 2019, man, and people just, you know, they feel like, oh, you, you know, what can you do for me? I can't do for myself. That's the other mentality. They ain't gonna be happy with you no matter what. They don't really wanna be with you. No matter what they say. You know, they don't. A lot of them don't. I'm finding it out more and more and more. The more independent women are today, particularly black women, the less they really wanna be involved with you. Unless you got some real tangible that they're looking for. And that's really more or less benefits, cash flow. Otherwise, they don't care about you. Not like you think they do. I used to think that too. They don't. They don't. It's so obvious. It's so obvious it's not even to tell you the truth, Raleigh, uh, guys and gals. It's not even funny no more. It's not. It's not even, it's to a point where it's not even a, a laughing matter at all. You know, I used to think that was years ago. People I talked to, men I've talked to about black women. And I was thinking, hey, brother, maybe it's you. I thought that for a very long time. Very, very long time. And come to think of it now, if not the men in a lot of cases, in a lot of cases it's the women. The women be running the game. Black women today run more game on guys than guys do women. I'm telling you, they do. They they do. 
I don't hear about, oh no, you just generalize. I ain't generalizing a motherfucking thing. This is facts. Black women been known to uh, run game on guys through slavery, from slavery on up. They done it then, they're doing it now. They've always done it. This is nothing new. They've they've been doing this. They always have done this. This ain't what I heard. This ain't what I thought. This ain't what I'm thinking about. This is what I know. I know for a fact they do. They've always done it. They've done it for decades. They continue to do it today. And they don't care. Yeah, they want you to go out there and be the breadwinner. They claim they want they want a strong black man, be a head of household, take care of the kids, and blah, blah, blah. And many of them today, many of them today even the older women, really just want, want security. Nothing wrong with that. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. There really is nothing wrong with a woman wanting security from a man. They ought to. You know? The problem is that they just want enough of the man to get something out of that deal so they can go to the next guy. And a lot of them are like that today. And when we're talking about security, we're talking about, in some cases, financial security. Many of them do look for that. They will look for that first before they look for anything else. That's a known fact. Which is why you got an epidemic of these women out here having kids left and right. Because that is financial security for many of them. That's a known fact. And the bad part about it is, what's really bad about it, a lot of these black women encourage it. I remember, this is no joke, and I, 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 I probably shouldn't even be saying this, but I'm going to say it any damn way. I know for a fact, and I've heard him say it, where in-laws used to tell me and my old lady, y'all need to have more kids. I used to hear that all the time. All the time. And I'm thinking, why are you guys are telling us what we need to be doing? And I'm thinking, y'all mothers need to let me and my old lady decide what we need to be doing for ourselves and our family. If this is something you desire to do, then you need to talk about with your significant other. Don't tell me and my significant other about what we need to be doing. You worry about that between you and your family. Don't worry about between me and mine. We good. I used to hate that. They would always tell you that. Like, you y'all need to have more kids children. For what? Do you got extra children money for me to take care of uh, more children then shut the fuck up I hated that man I, I, I truly did I hated it I said like, don't tell me all of that I don't want to hear that mess I never wanted to hear it this is always coming from people who won't gonna help you with a damn thing anyway there's always from people who tell you about this that and the other oh you need to go get you a house blah 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 blah, blah, blah. ain't had no opportunity to, to loan you house money or nothing. I just like, just shut the fuck up. If you're not going to do all that help, helping somebody out after you give them advice about it, just shut up. I used to hate that. I really, I, I despised it. Because you're trying to encourage the female. You really ain't saying for the guy. You're saying for the woman. Whoa, shit. Let me see this car. You really, you really ain't saying for the guys. You're saying for the female. Because you really was caping for the woman. Uh, you, you're advocating for the woman to be able to get those benefits because you know the type of guy she with. That's what a lot of y'all be doing. Y'all ain't slick. Y'all ain't saying to benefit the husband and the wife. You saying to benefit the wife. I know y'all. That's what y'all do, and y'all continue to do so. You ain't saying that bullshit. The 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 uh, boy thinking that it the fact both the wife and the husband would benefit from that. You saying so the wife can benefit to get it, to put into her head. So she can tell her, her man, this is what I want. I do want that. And that's what they do. And this is going to be coming from single, single mothers telling a woman who's already married that. 
This is one of the many reasons why I have issues with. I'm not through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another podcast on this real soon. Just you wait. Matter of fact, I might do a live one. I actually do do one participation on that, that next one. This is DJ Wolf. I'm out. Thank you.